For Rivals.com, I'm National Recruiting Analyst John Garcia Jr. And as we wrap up the class of 2024, let's look ahead to the best in 2025. So let's bring in a top 20 overall recruit, Jamie French, wide receiver from Jacksonville, Florida, Mandarin High School. Uh, Jamie, just a junior, but obviously a guy who's been recruited for several years one-time Alabama commitment. Of course, a lot has changed there yeah. in Tuscaloosa. How do you feel as your junior season comes to a close? Man, I feel good, man. I can't complain. Just really want to take a step back and really get an overlook at things with the recruiting process and stuff like that. That's really all. Yeah, with Alabama, obviously uh, a ton of transition there in Tuscaloosa with Nick Saban retiring and Kalen DeBoer coming in. Let's start there. Uh, take us back to the decision to back off of the Crimson Tide and also the follow-up with that new coaching staff. I'm sure they've uh, given you a buzz or two. Mm, definitely. Really just with the coaching staff, they really – everybody who recruited me in, who I committed to, they really left. So it's really just a reset button on really everything. It doesn't really, really downplay the – the organization at Alabama itself is just really a relock in and just really get another feel for the new coaching staff. Since that point, Jamie, you've been taking many visits and you've got mm -hmm. sort of this top three that you've been working with. To yeah, my understanding, yeah. Florida State, Miami, Ohio State are the mm -hmm. three schools maybe in the best shape right now. We'll yeah. talk timeline in a minute, but what is it about those three schools that, that has your attention? Man, I'll definitely say the love they show me, you know, over this break, you know, coming by the school, let me feel the love. You know, other schools are also creeping in, but those are the top three right now. But just family, feeling family oriented, you know, that's another thing in my recruitment process that I want to feel mostly as well. In terms of how these schools approach you, Jamie, is is it mainly the wide receiver coaches trying to sell you on development? And, and on, on your side, what are you looking for from them as you try to figure out this this final call before your national signing day come December? Man, really and truly just family oriented where I can feel best when my family's not around, when they drop me off. Just really feel happy when they're not around and stuff like that. That's really all I'm looking for into the process. But yeah, that's mostly how I hear from the receivers coach, you know, recruiting directors and stuff like that. So obviously visits are going to be an important part of this deal. So you, you went to Miami last weekend. I know you were up at, at Florida State a couple of weeks ago. What does the calendar look like once this dead period wraps up and you get closer to, to spring, uh, you know, practice season for these colleges and eventually a official visit season? Where are some places you want to get out to? Man, definitely. I already have a couple of places that's like set, but I haven't had a date. You know, Tennessee, I'll definitely be getting out there this spring. You know, Ohio State, Florida State. Obviously, Miami, you know, that top three as well. So just getting out of those places, get a little peace every time, every every chance I get. That's really all. And then in terms of the timeline, you 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 jumped on early with Alabama last summer, backed off now. Everybody mm -hmm. wants a, a piece of you. So how do you approach it from a timeline perspective this time around? Mm -hmm. Really, really just taking it easy. That's really all coming around this next year. Just really taking it easy, come up to the December time. Really on my standpoint time, I'm really where I want to settle down. That's really all just. Getting a piece, like I said, that's really much all. Do you envision yourself taking a lot of summer official visits and taking that into the fall, or or could the mm -hmm. fall be more focused on you know your final season at Mandarin and, and trying to wrap it up on the field? I'll say the summer more going into the visits. I'll say then because really just want to take it all in, you know, get a piece of everything, let it I can see everything, you know, and things could change. Who knows from here on out? But that's really what I'm leaving on right now. Got to ask one more Alabama question with that new coaching yeah. staff. Have they talked about getting you back on campus? That's something oh, yeah. that is potentially on the calendar. Oh, yeah, no doubt. They put, they told me, see, they sent me the schedule actually when Coach Shepherds came out of school, you know, just trying to get me back out, get another feel, just let me know. It's, it's another plus to it this time with the new office of staff and stuff like that. That's pretty much all. Gotcha. So it'll be an exciting few months, certainly for Jamie French. Dead period in March, but after that point, a lot of visits will be taken, and we'll see if this top three of Miami, Florida State, and Ohio State is maintained. Jamie, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you.